Actually, no, I'm sorry. He's only 0.17 behind Jeff Slater and only three tenths off of Jason Stewart. So it's possible that he could knock Jason Stewart out of that first spot. 48-3 for Andy Nielsen there. It's not telling me how that places him. Saying too many runs. Let me go over that clash real quick. Not sure that was an improvement for him. Anyway, but so he does finish that run. Again, we're back to road tire action. Listen to that Subaru just constant scrubbing of those tires coming on that giant sweeper. Tom Reynolds crossing on the left. Tom Reynolds picking up another three tenths. Point three seven nine with a 47 0. So he does take Jeff Slater out of the second spot. Now he's just point one seven six out of the lead. Still has one more shot at it. He's got this right hand uh, lane to go. So if he can come back and rip off another almost two tenths, he can take the lead in the class on this last run. Jason Stewart probably uh, should be worried at back there. I would be. And of course, I'm ignoring uh, Sherman Chang over here. Sherman picking up 1.2 seconds, jumping all the way up in the ninth spot based on that run. So 49.6 for him. So Sherman picking up three spots on that run. We've got Amy, or excuse me, Amy, Sarah West all on the left course for an L1 run. Sarah West is currently in the sixth position. This is her first run of this run group. Jumping up into fifth based on that. She's only one tenth, a little bit under two tenths out of fourth. She's only got about three three tenths to get into the trophies and knock Amy Fair out. So Sarah West could take advantage of that all-wheel drive and jump into a trophy spot. So we'll be watching that. She was faster by, by as I was saying, 1.9 seconds on the left side on her first run. So 48-1. She's definitely got it in her to take in, take out Amy Fair out of the trophies. She's got a lot of work to do to catch Rachel Saunders, though. So I don't, I'm not going to make any promises on that, but she definitely has the potential. And we've got Tom Reynolds coming in now looking to pick up that new little bit he needs to take the lead away from Jason Stewart. Only needs .167. Can he do it? He crossed the line. And we are waiting on Sherman to follow suit. .386 improvement. .386 improvement for Tom Reynolds taking the lead in the class on that last run. <laughs> 